Hello everyone, this is Maxwell Jones and welcome to episode 11 of my Let's Play Regrowth series. There are a couple of projects that are on for this episode. First of all, I would like to have more end of flames. More end of flames means I will produce mana faster because right now I'm struggling a little bit with the speed of this whole thing. And second of all, I'd like to see, you can see it maybe behind, uh, I tried to set up already the first 10, 10, 10 seeds area with a couple of seats that were ready and I would like to continue expanding there so moving my seats from this lines to this place in the background. Of course I will go on with my quest book. I would like to get in this episode mana steel, maybe the first runes and I would like to see if I get to the point if I can make some eggs because I would like to start my farm. So let's get back at the beginning. I'm right now uh, removing the petals of the flowers I will drop some of the petals into the mana pool and then I will craft the end of flames I was speaking about. Let's get there. The two red petals in the pool and the two brown ones as well. Now I have everything to craft two more end of flames. If you remember, I will craft them here in the apothecary, which requires water. And there is something I'm missing, which is seed, so any kind of seed. Let me see. Okay, here I have quite many barley seeds. And I will not need that many anyway. So any kind of seed will work. And let's repeat that. All right, that's our two end of flames. Next, I will go grab some dirt and go back. I prepared the area already, so I will fill the holes with dirt and drop the end of flames on top of them. So I have five of them, one, two, three, four, and for the fifth one I will go maybe here. Okay, and dropping the end of flames there. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I hope the spreader will be fine and it's not gonna be too much for it. The mana spreader can be overloaded if there is too much mana going through it. Uh, there's no big deal, it's just like you will lose a little bit of your resources when it is overloaded. The other point is it will slow down the whole process and then maybe it's best to upgrade the mana spreader instead of that. Now, I'm trying to make mana steel, so I need 10 mana steel ingots and the way to get them is to throw iron ingots into the mana pool. It is using quite much mana, so I will be back once it's done. Okay, I'm back and I decided I would like to show you what I'm doing here in the back area where I'm planting my tent and tent seeds. So here I will prepare some area. I will just drop some crop sticks and I will plant my 10 10 10 pumpkin seed here. The extra maxed out seeds will end up in this chest here and I will continue analyzing and moving my seeds until I'm finished uh, in for this I'm gonna split the screens. Okay, I am back and I'm hoping to have enough mana to finish the mana steel process. And missing a little bit of mana for the last ingot. Let me wait until this cross is turning into a small green V and I will toss my last ingot in the pool. Here we go. Okay, quest completed, hopefully, yes. And now I get to choose between Daybloom and Nightshade. I'm gonna pick up Daybloom. I'm getting 16 Daybloom's, which is great. And I could plant them right now. I think I'm gonna do that. One, two. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I will produce mana a little bit faster than I'm doing right now, and that's all I need. Okay. 
Okay, and for this I will need some more dirt. Five is not enough. So one, two, three, four, five. And let me grab some more dirt. I could automate the end of flames, but I don't think that's going to be necessary because right now I'm producing coal. And with the coal I could also make coal blocks. If I feed coal blocks to the end of flames, the process of producing mana will be very quick. And I think that's gonna be enough for anything I need to do right now. So I don't want to automate this process at the moment. It's definitely not necessary. Here is the last block of dirt and now the day blooms on top. And the day blooms will produce mana until it's exhausted and they will fill up the mana pool. Uh, yes, they are already linked to the spreader, so it's all fine. And now for the next step, let's have a look at the quest book. Let's see, there are quite many things I could do at the moment. What the world is made of? Ah, I have one quest with unclaimed reward. I guess it's a seed. Let's see. Yes. Daisy seeds. Okay, and here I could do white tulip while crossbreeding daisies and dandelions. Let's do that. So, I need first a daisy. And dandelion. which is not far away, which is right here. Okay, let's check the inventory. And bring bro both of the seeds down, down the lion goes here. And Daisy goes there. Now I'm gonna bone meal them to accelerate the process again. And here should come white tulip. Okay, that's ready. Next. I want to see if there's something else I can do with the daisy, because the daisy is already here and I could use the daisy and a blue orchid to get an orange tulip, that's great. So let me grab a blue orchid and I will plant it on the other side of the daisy. Alright, here's the blue orchid and let's get back to the crossbreeding area and here it goes. All right, I will bone meal that as well. Okay, this one's just finished, but it's not right. It's down the line and that's not what I'm looking for. Quickly composting what I don't need and emptying my inventory, which is quite important. I really wish I could have some kind of automation and sorting system at the moment, but it's not yet there. Yeah. Now I could do allium seed with blue orchid and poppy. That's a good idea. I have blue orchid here and I just need the puppy that goes there. Here we go. And here's Daisy. That's still not what I want. But a little bit of patience and I will get it. Next, let me have another look at the quest book. Now I could do that. Eggs. Let me check what I need to do some eggs. For the eggs I need Rune of Mana, which is Mana Steel and Mana Pearl. And Rune of Earth, which is Mana Steel, Mushroom, Block of Coal and Stone. And the rest of the ingredients are only seeds, so it's gonna be pretty easy. So here we can do some mana pearls and some coal. Let's do the coal block right now. Here's the mushroom and mandrake pasture and normal seeds. Here is mandrake. Here's pasture and 
but I don't really want to use this 10 10 10 seed I'm storing here. Let me see what else I need. Okay, the block of stone. And yeah, here I can quickly check the plants. So this is blue orchid, that's not what I want. And also blue orchid, so it didn't work out. So let's wait a little longer. And now uh, let me grab the seed and we can do the eggs. So let's get that going. Hey, hello spider. Wasn't expecting you. Okay, let's see if we have enough mana. So first we need one. That's apparently not enough for one pearl. Let's double check, yeah. Okay, let's use some coal. Hope we still have some. Yeah, three. I don't want to use, of course, the block of coal, because I will need it for my recipe. Now, should be fine for one pearl. Yes, it is. And let's see. So, one mana pearl, five mana steel. If I remember well, let's double check. Yes, one mana pearl and five ingots. So that's the five mana steel, that's the mana pearl, one of the forest, and it's going. Great. As usual, I still need some living wood, which I don't know why I'm storing it here. I should take it and store it next to the altar, which makes a lot more sense to me. All right, living rock. Hmm. Still missing a little bit of mana. It will come, the day blooms are still working. Not that fast, of course, but it's producing something. I will definitely need much more coal production. Now, Rune of Earth. That's gonna be easy. So, three mana steel. The block of stone, the mushroom, and the block of coal. Now it's not gonna go forward that quick because I don't have coal. Let's see if we have. So oh, okay. Let's first gather the coal we have here. I will always leave the last one on the series so it has a chance to grow further. So that is six and I need eight. Right. Twelve coal. That's gonna be fine for a tiny little bit of time. All right. Oh yes, and this one is very quick, okay. When this is fully green, it has to be overloading, so it's better not to have it this way. I should have another mana spreader at the moment. I'm a little lazy and basically for this small amount of time that's gonna be all right. But we are clearly losing a little bit of mana. All right, that is ready. Living rock and the wand. Okay, we have the rune of mana, we have the rune of earth and we need seed pasture seeds and mandrake. So let's do that. Mandrake, earth, mana, seed pasture seed. Mm, something's wrong here. So it's really like that. I should be doing something wrong, but what is it?
Hold on. This mandrake, I don't see it in the recipe. It should be mandrake seeds, maybe? And not mandrake root? Let me remove all of that. All right, I'll grab a mandrake seed from here. And let's try it again. I will need you, you, okay. Pasture seed, rune of earth seeds, mandrake, rune of mana. Woo, that sounds better. Big derp. At least I found out what was wrong. <laughs> All right. Living rock, one of the forest, and here we go. We have 16 eggs, so great. Now I'd like to build a really, really simple egg farm. And hopefully out of those 16 eggs, I will get a chicken. How will that work? So I will want a hopper. I will want a chest. And some nice blocks. Maybe I'm gonna chisel something. And pick, I don't know, some kind of fancy stone bricks. And where will I place it? Maybe... Maybe here? Yeah. Great. Oops. Wrong block. Hey! I can't remove that block yet. It says I can only harvest this with a copper pickaxe and I do not have a copper pickaxe yet. Alright, so chest will go here. The hopper will go on top of the chest, pointing at the chest of course. And Abby will fill everything else with those fancy bricks. Of course, I need an access to the chest, like so. And everything else will be filled. Of course, as you've been noticing off camera, I did a little bit of iron. That's why I got a block left in my hand. So to make it nice, I will also remove that one. And yeah, the whole thing needs to be one block higher. Just like that. Now I'll want a torch here. And now I can drop my eggs in there. So right click. Come on, I need a chicken. That is bad luck. Usually there should be a chicken coming out. Come on, I don't want to do it twice. Um, hold on, maybe in the quest book I get some reward and reward is eggs. Yes, so let's do it again until we have a chicken in there. All right, hello you. Great, so we do have a chicken. He will grow and then produce some more eggs. Amazing. I have here five more iron ingots. Maybe I will use them to make another hopper. And this hopper I can use on the seed production or seed analyzing section. I think uh, it's good. I will not need any more to just put the seed and remove it manually. I will just drop all the seeds in the chest and they will go through and get analyzed and get out. Uh, analyzed. So uh, let me remove that block and replace it with the hopper. Right. Great, so I will not need to remove them. I would need another hopper to be able to make the whole process automated. Uh, but right now it's uh, time to wrap up. I'm sorry guys, I hope you really enjoyed the episode. So please uh, rate and comment if you liked it, share it with your friends. And this is Maxwell Jones signing off. Have a great day. Maxwell Jones.